we've just got to uh, Tel Aviv. We're uh, en route to Jaffa. It's too close to the US. Home of the Jaffa cake. Bad joke. <laughs> See what awaits us. It's our first view of the Mediterranean, the Roman lake. Is that the Mediterranean? What's the Gulf then? To civilizations and cities for as long as civilizations have existed. entrance to the ancient city of Jaffa. People have lived here for 10,000 years, long before Tel Aviv. This was an ancient seaport. Phoenicians, Assyrians, Babylonians, Canaanites, Egyptians, all lived here. Here. Look at that. Look at that. Great business, this. This is, uh, this is confirmed old, old stuff. It's very sunny. So, we've got our first big old monument. Obviously, this is a reconstruction. But uh, excavated here was an inscription by the pharaoh Amenhotep III great conquering pharaoh of imperial Egypt, 200 years or so before the time of Ramesses II. He came up here sweeping up with his armies of chariot riding warriors, fueled by bronze, and they conquered this land from the native Canaanites, who uh, were a collection of city building Bronze Age peoples. So the astonishing thing about this place is that people have lived here on a tell, which is uh, an ancient mound uh, built up by human refuse over thousands of years. People have lived here for 10,000 years, up on the hill over there. There's a citadel where the big men of the region, the chiefs, would sit. Down here you'd have fisher boats coming in, trading vessels from the Arabian Gulf, the Red Sea. They'd come in here to this harbour, sell their wares, and then they'd go off again. And all the while, the guys up on the big tell at the top would be getting rich. So you're building a city, you're building a settlement, you're building a town, a village, on the sea. Where are you going to build it? You want, you want to have your ship somewhere safe. You don't want them out of a rough sea. You want them somewhere like this, protected, sheltered by rocks. Doesn't matter what kind of rocks they are. Very, very powerful waves. You leave a ship out there, it's going to get bashed around, it's going to get destroyed. If you have a natural harbour, Protected. Your ships are safe, leave them there, no worries. You have these naturally occurring rocks all over the place. And that's where the first cities on the sea were built. Utilise what nature has already given you. Here we go, one of the oldest harbours in the world. discovery so far about Jaffa is that it's mainly closed on a Sunday, which is fair, uh, and it's also about two thirds as hot as the sun. David has done too much history. Too much history. Too much history for one man. Too much. I'll have to sleep. A little history sleep. 
Hello boys. So, uh, we're popping out this evening to have a bit of grub. Something local, something interesting, possibly something involving a chickpea. Uh, and then probably later on we're going to have a couple of glasses of wine and then back to bed early up in the morning uh, off to Acre, the uh, town famous for uh, Richard the Lionheart's stout uh, defeat of uh, that rascal Saladin. So. Evidence, if evidence were needed, that the narrator and creator of History Time eats like a pig. There's 20 salads, two chickens, about 65 loaves of bread, and now I think we are concluded. Michael Woods. You're watching, email me, let's hang out.